So let's take a look at a few different basic patterns. Um, drum patterns are all important and obviously knowing where your drum hits actually go within the bar of music is really important as well. So first one we're looking at here, we've got a simple one bar of a 4-4, four four, uh, maybe a house track or a pop track you, you would use something like this for. If we just have a quick listen to it. So you can hear that we've got four beats in each bar. So there's one there, one there, one there and one there and they're all on the downbeat so they're all on the one the two the three and the four we've got a snare here on our second beat um, we've got a, 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 a snare a second snare on our fourth beat so the snare drops on the second and the fourth beat the kicks on the one the two and the three and the four and you can see here what we've done is actually added a little bit of variation so we've used two different types of snare to give us a little bit of variation within our within our bar. Now we've also got four hi hats on the off beats. One, two, three, four. And if I just mute the second hi hat pattern for a second, press M on the uh, Mac keyboard. So we've got a nice open hat on the the upbeat or the off beat. And now let's bring our secondary pattern in. Um, and these are just uh, we've got a hi hat effectively on every division and we've obviously missed out the one where we've already got the hi-hat on the offbeat so the offbeat division has been missed out and we've placed another hi-hat and this is a closed hi-hat on each one of those divisions and it gives the track um, a little bit of pace in the um, in the drums and that's your basic 4-4 pattern for a house track or maybe a pop track